Campbell and Carrick, you've got two guys that you've seen on film play uh, high-level college football. Does that change your evaluation? Is that a different evaluation than other guys you've seen only play for you? Uh, man, I think at this time of year, in spring, summer, fall, like everybody's out there competing. Um, you know, even guys that are return to stars or not. Like, I don't think any, you can never live completely in the past. You know, some guys that are a little older maybe catch a break here or there. This early in camp, it's everybody trying to um, go out there and compete and start, and competition makes everyone better. Well, is there any reference point of like a guy like Campbell? You you saw something on the film from him before. When you see it on the practice field, do you say that that looks like what we were sold? What I thought we would get? For sure, yeah, uh, no doubt on that. Um, and I think both those guys have been uh, even better than uh, that they've grown since last year. I think that's that's a, the great part about it. Um, um, they're both really, really good. Glad they're here. No, can ask about uh, Addison Nichols, just kind of how he's how he's developed in that center spot. He's doing good. Um, you know, he had a better day today. Um, you know, he's still rolling between center and left guard. Um, you know, I think all our centers have to do a better job snapping the football right now. But that's kind of the start camp. In spring, any time, uh, uh, we're, we're working to correct that as we speak. Austin and Patrick. I've got two things I'll ask them separately, though. Um, as far as you know, Addison to stay in that with him. How does he kind of balance the two, and you know, how does he have that legit shot at left guard if he's spending a lot of time at center? Uh, in, in, in fall camp behind Cooper, and then John Campbell looks like a different guy from a conditioning standpoint from spring to now. Can you tell a big difference in that? Yeah, I think with Addison, that's the same thing that, man, Jerome had to do last year, all he has to do, um, you know, Bison's having to do, um, you know, there's some guys that just have to be able to do multiple positions and it's part of it. And we script every single rep of practice so we make sure, man, you're getting enough of left guard, you're getting enough of center and balancing it out. And uh, try to rotate the sections in which you get to play left guard center, whether it's inside team run or team, and try to give them the best shot, shot, sharp shot, best shot to do it. Um, you know, but man, that's part of it. You have to be ready to go over here and be the left guard, and you're the two center, you're going to be able to do what Rome did last year. I think two things with John, I, I think he's a little bit healthier. Um, you know, he played all last year and it had the injury. I think he's just moving better, also for sure in shape. Um, and that's just the confidence that, you know, knowing Miles is a little better, the more you know what you're doing and have confidence in it, the faster you're going to play as well. Well, you talked a lot about the, the competition. How do you balance wanting to go with that as long as you can to get a, a complete evaluation of all your guys versus wanting to get some of those starting spots and maybe rotation spots locked in where they're asking to start working? Yeah, I think um, it's always you gotta get to the first scrimmage and that starts to solidify itself. Um, and again, we're <clears throat> it, rotating like every thing scripted. So whatever the combination ends up being, they're getting you know a portion where it's a half or a third or three quarters practice next to the guy that'll end up uh, potentially being the starter just because of the way it all rotates through. Um, so you know you try to get as much of that core unity, but also if you don't have competition, you don't give guys a chance to go and earn a spot, man, you get stale real fast. Ben and Casey, how would you assess Gerald's summer and how he's carried that over into the first week or so of camp? He's done a really good job. Uh, probably had his best day, uh, I think today, you know, you never know until you go back and watch the tape, but uh, him and <clears throat> JJ both being able to flip play both sides, um, have done a good job of it. It's, uh, it's not easy, man. Trying to flip the plays in your head and play fast, that's a, that's a tough ask. And he's done, done a really good job. There's still some you know technical things here and there he's got to clean up, and we all got to get in shape to play the speed, and, uh, which we want to, uh, with the physicality we want to, but he's had a really good job, really good start to this camp. Casey in the back. 
what's the relationship that you've been able to see Joe Milton build with the offensive line, and how does that differ or compare to the one that Hooker had as well? Yeah, I think Joe's been awesome, man. Like, you can feel him at practice every single day, just his energy, um, his leadership, his openness, um, and honestly, his play, too, man. Like, all those things, be a leader, count, like, being able to go put it on the field and the guys see you make throws and make the offense go, um, builds confidence in him. I think they um, kind of just gravitate to him, man. It's just, it's built into you. If you're all lineman and you don't love the quarterback and don't, man, just protect him everything in your life, uh, I think he's the world and boy, you're in the wrong position. Aged and Rob. Uh, Spragans, last season, was kind of one of your top guards. He's also really, I think, a high energetic guy as well. Just where is he making strides in his development to continue to be that guy at guard for you all? And maybe the energy of the team as well. Yeah, hey, right on <clears throat> right on point with that one. Um, I think if anybody would have the biggest jump in their tape, man, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be Sprags because he's, he's been just – Unbelievable spring, summer, fall, uh, from his protection to the knowledge of the game to leadership, just such a such a growth out of him and the energy that guy is nonstop. I mean, it, every day, like he, he gets it going. Just I, if there's not a more energetic, juicy guy on the field, play in, play out. Uh, and I think I style off that because it. It's energy, but also when he goes on the field, he backs it up, man. It's physicality. It's not a, a fake raw right energy. Like he's out there competing, and he, he wants the best, and couldn't be prouder the way he's playing. And just the leadership that he's showing and demanding from his teammates, um, it's awesome. Coach, just what kind of a luxury is it to have a veteran like Cooper, and not just with his experience, but at that position also as well? Sure, man. It, it makes it a lot easier. That's, uh, you know, this offense is fast as it goes, making those calls and not having to uh, double call stuff. And just the way he sees the game, like he sees all 11, understands it, uh, provides leadership, knows the technical aspects too, like you coach young guys, um, complete, complete package they got. So he's awesome, man. He just, he gets it on every single level from football in the meeting room to leadership to um, all sides of it. Three more, Adam, Patrick, and Eric. You've got three tackles that have all started a whole lot of games. Uh, do you do you have to manage egos at all? Do you have two starting spots, or do the egos even even exist with, with offensive linemen? Yeah, I mean, I think that's <clears throat> part of it. I do think, too, man, danger. Um, that guy starts in games here, too, and it's continued to improve. And, like I, I feel like we have four tackles. I do. Um, and yeah, ego plays a part into it. You know, you drive stress in the meeting room though every day that man, if you're offensive line, you gotta love the guy next to you more than you love yourself. And that if his successes are better than yours, you gotta be uh, cheering him on just as so much as you cheer yourself on. And you try to try to put that mentality into it. Um, but at the end of the day, man, you gotta run for 21 guys with one five from the start, everybody is here to start and go play. Um, and, you know, that they're, they're trying, and all we can do is continue to, man, the core values of who we want to be uh, as a team, stress that. And right now, I feel like they've done a great job of pushing each other and, you know, not letting the ego play a role. Coach, one of the, one of the young guys that tackles is, is Brian Grant. I think he's listed at like 329 now. He, he probably looks a lot different than when maybe the guy you recruited. Kind of what's his, his and he really good. And he, he had a challenge. He was the right tackle his first year. He's kind of bounced over and played left. Um, <clears throat> his body has changed so much. Uh, he's like a freaking computer man. Smart, smart uh, young man. Um, like gets it strength wise. Um, does everything right. Like it, there's never a question. You tell Brian to do this. Brian's gonna go do it. Um, and I think he's gonna be. You know. Obviously, this year after this year, we have a few guys may graduate and move on. Um, so it, it's important for his development, which is taking place to continue because there's going to be going to be some of those young guys that step up real fast. Last one, Eric. 
you mentioned Javante Spragans is kind of coming out of the shell, speaking, backing up, and all that. Is he different in that? Was he like that as a freshman and sophomore, or has it kind of evolved over the years? I think Sprague's always had energy, use, effort. I think he would try to lead. Um, and it, it was just like a, you know, I don't know, like a missile with a pin missing. Just wasn't always just right on the mark. Uh, but now, that guy's got pinpoint accuracy where every word that comes out of his mouth, like he's, he's on it. He knows what the pulse of the situation is, what needs to be fixed, what direction as the offensive line, as a team, we need to go. Um, young guys, everything. Like, just super, super proud of him.